Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends welcome back to my channel how we can differentiate good or bad armature in the first step make a visual check if there is damaged commutator it needs to be replaced commutator block this one the same issue its commutator is slightly damaged but after a machine work it can be used but this one and this one it needs to replace the segment after we will check we need insulation check set multimeter to continue commutator is making short circuit with body it is bad when positive voltage will reach here it will directly ground to the chassis so this armature is bad if we check its winding its insulation is finished its insulation between u block and the core that is also damaged so the wire is touching to the chassis so it needs rewinding its commutator block is good but its winding and insulation is to be replaced it needs rewinding set multimeter to resistance connect to commutator block and check with core it must give high resistance it is giving 57 ohms this is different 16 ohms 7 ohms like that but this one 161 like that so it is also short circuit insulation test fail then check this one its insulation test is good you can use high voltage insulation tester I don't have that uh, tester now but you can use that one it is giving high resistance 20 mega 15 mega 2 mega ohm its insulation is also weak it must give open circuit with the body if with 9 volt battery it is giving this 2 mega ohm resistance but when it will used with high voltage test that is insulation check with mega or like that it will give weak insulation so multimeter must give open circuit here its insulation is good so it is also problematic then check the winding place in the cross 180 degree it will give around short circuit as the multimeter error rotate it step by step and both test leads must be 180 degree opposite So this test is good now place to any one segment and move with other segments
So it is good. This test is also good. Now bring multimeter to any one segment and move one by one and observe the reading. If any time the reading goes high, This one is good. We can see some segments are going 0.8 ohms, 0.5. So it will indicate the disconnection. Now we need to check one by one segment. Move to each step and this reading must be same and it must be low either it is giving continuity or resistance if at any point there is increased resistance than the normal if multimeter error is 0.2 it must be 0.2.3 if it is high 1 ohm 2 ohm 100 ohms at that time it will indicate bad connection, bad soldering between these two points. This is good test. Point four. Point eight. Point six, one point two, one point three, like that. Hold that. Is the moidiek? Ma shukr, habibi. This is my coffee. Sometimes two segments are shorted together due to solder the small debris from this brass in that condition we need to clear it using any knife or any sharp screwdriver it must be cleaned sometime a carbon deposit will make also short circuit between these two points it must be clear from here like this sometime the solder here it also heats up and it makes bridge between the next segment that must be inspected carefully and if there is bridging like that a small machine work a clay machine will clear that so this rotor is good These failed visual check, visual inspection because this segment is short circuited, it is melted down. So it is melted connection, weak insulation, short circuit, short circuit. These two visual check fail, this one short circuit 
and its winding insulation is burned out and its insulation in the U block is burned out. These needs to replace commutator block and insulation rewinding. This one rewinding. Its commutator block is good but it needs new insulation, new winding. These also have same issue. You can see the insulation from the winding is finished. When the insulation from the winding is finished, it will not create good magnetic field. It will rotate but its rotation will weak. Because its winding between this segment and this segment is short circuited. And this winding with 180 degree opposite is also with poor insulation. So it will not create proper magnetic field to rotate the motor properly. Visual check, insulation check, 180 degree, intersegment, cross check here and then visual check for clearance of segments for short circuit. If all tests are passed, that rotor will work. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.